and he skeeted it in her face. <laughs> in the face. <laughs> in the face. Put it in the face. In the face. <laughs> Yo, that's oh funny, shit. <laughs> Oh damn, damn, damn! I feel damn. like it's it's more on me. I don't want to no, take no, away from you. the man that I'm. Ah, with. ain't nobody, ain't nobody. <laughs> uh, what's up, everybody? Welcome back again, Triad Hip Hop Podcast. What's going on, guys? It's your boy, Mr. Howie, and, and my man, Kurt Dog, and we here. We gonna do it again one more time for y'all. Yeah, every week, every week. So. If you're here, invite your followers. If you're playing this on the uh, replay, share it with your followers. We appreciate you. Right. If you love hip hop, share it. We're going to throw on some instrumentals here real fast. Yeah, yeah we'll let's get add, some music going. Add some people. And yes. We, Put it in going. the face. I like this. In the face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's funny, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. I wonder if she gonna say something back. That's what I'm wondering. Oh uh, <laughs> man, I, well it definitely ain't gonna be like no. It definitely ain't gonna be like um, what you would say, um, like a push a T or anything right. like that. Yeah. I, I don't see that happening. Yeah, I agree on that. Yeah, I don't see that happen. Or Eminem and MGK. I don't think it'll be as hype. Right. But I mean, they fan bases that I think they'll they'll definitely you know pick it up. Just give me a second, y'all. I got uh, this computer and stuff. Let's see if we can go here. You know. It was kind of Reggie Reg. What's up, oh, man? Yeah, Red. Started we get right get into fight, it, fight, man. Fight, 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 fight. We can get right, get into this hip hop thing and talk about everything that's been going on this yep, week yep. and hip hop in general. Man, how was your week, man? What? My week was good, man. It was, uh, you know, another grind. You know, trying to get through the work week, um, just doing my thing. It was kind of a. It was almost like the days were going by fast. Like, well, let me let me put it to you this way. The week went by fast, yeah. but the days went by slow. Yeah, yeah. So it was like, during the day when I'm at work, it's like the time was just creeping by. I was like, yo, what is going on? I just, I don't want to be here. <laughs> so uh, but then by the time at the end of the day, I was just looking back like, oh, wow, it's already Wednesday. You know what I mean? It's already Thursday. So it was one of those things, man. So I, I I don't know, man. I can't even call it. Sometimes, sometimes the days just get so blurred. You know, when you when you just trying to work hard and do your thing. So, what about you? How was your week? Man, man it was it was all right. Um, man, Wednesday, man. I'm trying to go to class, and um, what happened? Teacher canceled the class. Oh wow! And man, damn, I don't. You know, I ain't had no gas, or anything like it. Yeah. It took it took everything in a can of beans to get up <laughs> in, in there. And you know what I'm saying? It just wasn't. It just wasn't. You know, ain't like he notified us on email, right? But no one don't check that email, right? You know, <laughs> we got a little other thing called Moodle or whatnot. Oh, okay. Most of everybody checks that. Yeah. And anywho, that happened, and then. Um, did a little bit of Uber and whatnot. Um, uh, drove this dude from uh, Belgium to the airport, and he mm. was telling me about the difference between Belgium and uh, here, which was pretty cool. Oh, okay. And um, he was telling me like, uh, kind of, he was talking about going to the beach areas and stuff. Mm. And he's like, "Yeah, man, the beach is nice." I said, "Yeah, man, I seen." He said, "Going down there, seeing those old houses." So when them new houses are us, I'm like, "Damn, wow!" But you know, when you think about it, it's like, "Well, damn, you know, the country ain't really like officially about two hundred something years old." Yeah, and only inhabited, you know, what I'm saying for mm. about like four or five hundred years. You know, European, right? You know, and have yeah, it's, it's been here, but you know, yeah, yeah, it's been, yeah, it's been here. It was just stolen, not too yeah. long ago. Oh yeah, stolen, <laughs> stolen like hell. Looks like we got Dominic in the house. What up? 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 What up
Thanks for joining. Share this with everybody you know. Yeah, we got the music cranking now. We getting ready to get into it in just a minute. Oh, so and then another like today, I was trying to. I called up uh, Shay Forty Five. Oh yeah, because they were talking about power, and what they were talking about was, you know, it had like what five seasons. Uh-huh. Like it's on its fifth season, ain't it? Yeah, or something well, like that. Because I don't really, really. I was gonna say six, but I don't know. I think it was six, and I think seven is about to start or something like that. Okay, but anywho, they were saying like usually around five seasons or whatnot. You know, they they're pretty much uh, you know ready to you know cancel or you know they close it out. So I try to call up there and on my rinky dink ass phone. And uh, they were talking about first before I called, they were talking about hanging up on people, right? Uh-huh. And, uh huh. <laughs> and it was man, this was bad because like what I did, I called up there. And I was like, uh, y'all talking about the power? And then on top of that, my phone was bad. Wow. And he's like, and this is when you hang up on people. Uh-huh. Yeah, you know, I was like, you know what? I can't even get mad. Right. I deserve that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I can't butt, even get mad. That joke. <laughs> I can't even get mad. <laughs> Yeah, that's funny, man. T-Mobile, you need to step your game up. Give yeah, me <laughs> exactly. They did when they they just bought um, Metro PCS. So oh, they did. Would, yeah, you would think they um, are getting better. You know, nah, what I mean? they get, if they bought Metro P- PCS, they they didn't got shitty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, they, um, they, yeah, because they have commercials out. It's called uh, Metro by T-Mobile now. It's not called Metro PCS anymore. Oh, dang. Yeah, so, yeah, that kind of sucks. I like T-Mobile, man. So, you know, I was considering going back to them because right now I'm on Verizon, and I don't like Verizon. Really? I, really I thought like, Verizon would be like the... They, they're supposed to be the best, but they're not, man. And they, well, they, they got decent coverage. But their prices are way overpriced. You know what I mean? They're way overpriced for what you're getting, man. Trust me on that. So, you know, and then they're still not the best of best. But you know what I mean? But they're good as far as coverage. But they're not as good as you would think. You know what I mean? So, Mm. but yeah, so... um, you uh, What you want to talk about? Well, let's let's, let's get into this hip-hop evolution, man. Yeah. Y'all really need to check this out, man. It's yeah, really good. Man. Uh, it's not, and it's not just like you know. It does go towards the beginning, like as far as like the uh, you know the beginning and the creation of it all. Yeah. But um, man, they have like really good stuff. They talk about the north. They talk about the south, west, west all uh, that, just man. like the origins, the beginnings of it. Yeah. So it's, it's called really, the evolution of hip hop. It's on Netflix. If you don't got Netflix, you know the whole code. Get somebody else's Netflix and yep. watch it. It's yep. good. You know, love love at gmail.com. <laughs> <laughs> get somebody else's Netflix and yep. watch it. Um, get somebody else's passcode. But, you know, Netflix has come a long way, man. I have yep. to admit. Because yep. yep. when they first came out, they had a slight buzz, but then it started dying off, and I was getting ready, you know, just pretty much leave them alone. Then they started making their own uh, TV shows, and that was really good. That's when they really started shining more. Yeah, the Netflix yeah. exclusives. And so, they do good now, man. A lot of people was falling asleep with that, too, like Hulu. And, yeah. Which, I, I don't have a Hulu account. I would, I would like to get it back up, though, because Hulu... Got some pretty interesting yeah, stuff. Yeah, Hulu's got well. some good stuff too. They kind of followed suit and started doing their own shows. And what made Hulu stand out at first was the fact that they would get stuff quicker. You could watch TV that just played like yesterday or yep, something like that. Yep, yep. So a lot of people jumped on it. But then, you know, after a while, even that wasn't that big of a deal. So I think that's why they both got into the doing their own original shows. So that's what's up, man. But yeah, Hip Hop Evolution, man. Go check that out. They start from the foundations of how hip hop came into be, and not just like the seventies. They go all the way back to the sixties and everything, where you know the people like Pig Meat Markham. Y'all may not know that name. Here comes the Joe. Here comes the Joe. Here comes the Joe. Here comes the Joe. I used to see that all the time, uh-huh. yo, and I, and I didn't realize who that was. Yo. Yeah. So <laughs> they, they they go back hard, and they really show you. All the people who were actually doing rapping, rhythmic talking over um, music 
even before it was called rap. You know what I mean? It was called, well, actually, I'm sorry. It was called rapping, actually, but it was before it was hip-hop. You know what I mean? Because there was guys like Pigmy Markham who would say stuff like, I'm rapping, and I'm, you know, they would actually, it was kind of like rapping was just all about slick talk. You know what I mean? So it wasn't that more of a culture. Day, just like, you know, like when you say I'm going to go rap to this girl, you know what I mean? It was kind of just like that. I'm going to kick my little rap. And that's what, like, you know, Barry, Rock, uh, Barry White and uh, yeah. Isaac Hayes, yeah. like, when you go look at their music liners and their lyrics, they'll say, like, rap. And yeah. they'll be like, hey, baby, right. know, it's been, like, a long time. Yeah, that'd exactly. be like, well, that's the rap. You know yeah, what I mean? man. So, <laughs> it, it's a great show if you really want to learn about hip-hop and how you your pioneers came to be, like, Cool Hurt. Grandmaster Kaz, you know, Sugar Hill, Furious Five, all of them, Treacherous Three, all of them, man, who were just doing it back in the days, who, you know, fought to get their music out there, you know what I mean? I, I love stuff like that, where you can really learn your history, you know, we all need to do that. If you really love hip-hop, you're going to love this show, Yeah. you know what I mean, so. And, if and the good thing about it, too, you know, when I before we you know got in here, like I saw a little tell in of uh, you know the the South of like UGK and Bun B and uh, Pimp C, rest in peace. Yeah. But uh, yeah, you know it was interesting, you know, to see that as well. You know, as far as that perspective, how they came together and gel that. I mean, you know, it's got something for everybody. So y'all really should check that out. Yeah, man. So they they're actually um evolution of hip hop is in the second season right now, you know, we, we're just now finding out about it, so I went back and I'm binging all the episodes, so I started from season one and I'm just working my way up, so it's not like a, um, a whole bunch of episodes, I think each season only got like five episodes yeah. or something like that, so it won't even take you long to go through them, so just definitely check that out, man, because uh, hip-hop means that, you know what I mean, they get interviews from everybody you can think Okay, okay, we back. We back, we back, we back. All right, so they get interviews from everybody you can think of in hip hop. You know what I mean? Cool Herc, you know, all of them. You know, um, I'm sure they got like uh, Busy B, and I saw Mo D on there. Ball, the ball. LL, Run DMC. Uh, well, DMC, you know, they got DMC. I don't see Run don't really do too much these days because he, I think he's into the church life, and so. He doesn't really do a lot of interviews, but they got DMC, and y'all remember we had DMC too. And yep, yeah, yep, yep. yeah, Comic Con. We talked to the man live and direct, so that was kind of dope. Um, so yeah, um, definitely check that out, man. Yeah, so I definitely support that. And if you wanted to keep coming back, go watch it because Netflix they look at who's watching and who's not. You know what I mean? So, and the other, the other document. Remember too, don't forget about that. The um the one that had like Nas T.I. Oh, that yeah. was by Master Pill. Um, yeah. Um, 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 I forgot that name. quick. Because we used to talk about it all the time. Um Which I I need to finish that. Actually what, I need to finish up the rap. Yeah, thing. they had the Nas and they did Dave East on the episode and yeah. uh, you know a bunch of different ones. So that was a good one, man. Um who else did they have one there? They had, what was it, g -Eazy, I think? Yeah, they had g, -Eazy, g -Eazy, T.I., T -I. they had 2 Chainz, yeah, Rhapsody. Two chain, Rhapsody. They got Just Blaze on there and someone else. I can't think of the last yeah, one. Yeah, so. But, yeah, check, but, yeah, definitely check that out because yeah. it's really, it's, that one is good because it kind of covers artists and it kind of covers, like, all sides of their genre because it's not just, you like Nas kind of Nas and Dave, Dave East represents the boom bap. Yeah. Ti and Two Chain represents the South So even Rhapsody, but yeah. But she's kind of more traditional. Yeah. Um, hip hop. Yeah. And Logic is kind of like like he's the hip hop. You know the I would classify him boom bap, but he can also do other stuff right. as well. Yeah, so he's I mean, versatile. So yeah, yeah. So it's pretty. really good to you know see. And it just has a good representation of like kind of like what what the genre of hip hop is. And you know another show I need to go back and look at um, that we mentioned on Netflix too, and I forgot about it. But it's called um, Liquid Science. It's got Jizza from Wu Tang. Oh, sure. You know, dropping that knowledge. I mentioned it. Um, you know, not 
probably within the past six or seven months on the show because um, I saw some advertisements about it and I bought it up real quick in passing. But that's one we all need to go um, check out, man. It's like he's taking you to school, you know what I mean? So, Jizza, that dude is smart, man. He, he got a lot going on up here. You know what I mean? So, um, it's called Liquid Science. You know what I mean? Go go look for that on Netflix, too. Support that, that joint. There's another one on Netflix. I don't know if they took it down, but Ice-T did it. Uh, they are a rap. Yeah, that was good, too, man. Because that one, it came out in theaters first. Really? Yeah, yeah. I did not know that. It was one of those that was only in select <laughs> theaters. So, they, it didn't get worldwide attention. It was only in a few theaters. So, when it, I, saw, I, I saw the commercials about it when it came out here in North Carolina, but it didn't show in any of the theaters here in, in the borough. It was like you had to travel like an hour or two here, maybe to Raleigh or something like that, or Charlotte, to see it if you wanted to watch it on the big screen. So, But it's on Netflix now, so that's a good one, man. So, yeah. So, let's, let's talk about Meg Kelly and all oh, these other man. damn crazy-ass white people <laughs> Fucking with Yeah, Megan Kelly, man. I'm sure all of y'all heard about it. If you haven't, you know, you need to go check it out. But earlier this week, I think it was around Tuesday on her show. Um, she does a show on NBC, like one of those um, panel type shows. And they got to talking about um, Halloween. And she mentioned the, you know, blackface. And she said that, in her opinion, it wasn't that big of a deal because when she was young, you know, you could go out and dress in blackface or even whiteface and it was just a costume and it was no big deal. And, you know, that was very racially insensitive of her to say that, you know what I mean? Because blackface has never been comfortable with anybody, no. you know what I mean? Except, I except the people who were making fun of us. How um, old is she? I don't know, but I would imagine she's in her 40s. You know what I mean? She seems to be either late 30s or early 40s, in, in my opinion. So, I don't know. But, um... What up, Jermaine? Yeah, what up, man? What up, Jermaine? Yeah, you so, know. um, she basically... So, because of that, they took her off the air and started just playing reruns of her show. So, she's normally live every day. But they took her off, and I don't know if they're gonna fire her or not. But they probably will, right? But if she ain't at Fox no more. Yeah, exactly. So it's it's one of those things where if you're a person who is not of color, you need to do your homework on stuff like that. Blackface is never appropriate at any time or place. You know what I mean? I don't care what it is because, um, and I think that's why. When you, when you think back to the Drake and Pusha T thing, Pusha T called him out on that because Drake, you know, did it. But, you know, even though he had good intentions, it still doesn't look good. You know what nah, I mean? Nah, especially you being, uh, I mean, you're an African American. Right, you're African American and you still and did you it. So, know about yeah, it. It's, it's just so wrong to do that, man. So it's just like, why would you even say that that was okay. That's never, there's never been a time when that's been okay. Say, okay, I'm going to go out in blackface this Halloween. It's okay because it's Halloween. No, it's not. No, what I'm going to do. It ain't never been okay. I'm going to give me some white shoe polish, yo. <laughs> I'm going to put that shit, wood, get it all good up in here. <laughs> and I'm going to be like, hi, my name is Howard, a white guy. Well, I got good credit. Ha, ha, ha. So she she definitely put her foot in her mouth, man, with that one. So we're going to see what happens. But she she issued an apology like the next day saying that, you know, oh, I didn't know. And now I know how, you know, insensitive. it's like you shouldn't be in your age group. You shouldn't be an adult and not know how serious that subject matter is. And anybody watching this, if you don't know, you need to go do your research. You know what I mean? Because... We, that's one of the things that have really um, defined racism in this culture. You know what I mean? Because they, you know, they would do things to make it look, you know, see, and this is the thing. She was looking at it when she said it. She was kind of looking at it like, well, it's no big deal because it's just makeup and this and that. But, you know, when they did it back in the day, they were doing stuff to, ex to really make fun of our features. You know, they would make the mouth really big because they would say, oh, well, black people had these big lips and 
So they would make the mouth part really big on the makeup and you know, all this stuff. And they would shuck and jive to make it seem like we weren't worth anything other than entertainment to people. You know what I mean? And so it really demeaned us a lot. So you can't just throw that term around and think that that's okay. You know what I mean? It, the whole terminology should let you know it's not okay. You well, what, know what I mean? I was going to say, too, what was sad about it, like, you got some of the um, younger artists. Um, I was listening to, uh, what was it, on the in the morning, B. Simone. I think B. Simone came over. She was hilarious. And she got kind of like of a mixtape out, too. She, I think she's part of, like, Wildin' Out. Yeah. And uh, basically, she was saying, like, well, to me, because they, they brought this up, and it's like, well, to me, I guess it's not bad because, you know, she's in character. But when another caller came and said, you know, they, they called and talked to her, and they was like, well, really, that's kind of bad because, like, even with her, she was saying, even if I went as Britney Spears, I wouldn't paint myself white. Right. You ain't got it. I would just be another a black version yeah. of Britney Spears. Yeah. I mean, and you don't and you know, you don't really see black people going out their way, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. To do that. Yeah. But there, now there was one costume I seen like where it was like, um, or these white girls. They didn't paint their face, but they were the Migos. And I'm like, okay, I can respect that. Yeah. Because, you know, they were themselves, but they yeah. going as the Migos. So it's, I it's can, a little tasteful. Yeah, yeah. That, that's kind of, that's that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, it's, that's how it is. It's, 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 you know, you don't put on that makeup and, you know what I mean? Because that's what really messes you up when you do that. Because that's really offensive to our culture as a whole, man. You can't do that. So it's nothing wrong with, you know, Pretending to be somebody, hell, if we go out and one of us dresses up as Santa Claus, you know what I mean? It's just, oh, that's a black Santa. You know what I mean? It's not, oh, Santa Claus is white! Right. <laughs> so is Jesus! <laughs> that's another thing that messed you up, Meg. Meg Kelly. Kelly, what Meg I Kelly for life. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, it, it's, it's, it's sad, man, that she thought that that was okay, man. It's really not. So, we're going to see what happens to her, man. But just, you know, we just want to put that kind of PSA announcement out there that's not okay on any shape or form any level anything man don't even fathom doing that you know it's just it's not okay so that's that's pretty much all I got to say about it man she, uh, I'm gonna leave it alone she gonna figure out what NBC stand for right <laughs> Negroes busting cracks <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing y'all I'm just playing no, but um <laughs> but yeah so you know that's, that's, you know, that mainstream thing that's going on. Um, yeah, like Dominic said, you know, little Kim bleached her skin. She does. She looks like a train wreck, man. That's It's really sad, you know. And that's, that's a whole other conversation right there, man. Because people like little Kim, when she does it, she's not making fun of white people. She she's just, trying to become one. Yeah, yeah, she feels like she doesn't value her color. You know, that's what's sad about that. You know what I mean? When you have no value, just like... The girl that was on Dr. Phil the other day. Yeah, I, I seen... Man, I could even watch that shit. I, I, I mean, but I, I seen the... She gonna get her ass whooped. She gonna get her ass whooped. Yeah. But what were you saying? But no, nah, I mean, shit, man. They try to knock on us, but really, man. I, I'm not taking it away from white people. And, you know, like, as far as, like, white women and stuff, you know, there's some beautiful ones and stuff, but, man, there ain't nothing like a black woman. And then on top of that... It, com it comes in so many shades. It comes in so many shades. Yeah, I'm more for one. All right, we back. We back. Sorry right. about that. We had to beat up the time yeah. cable, man, you know, real quick. But, yeah, we got all shades, man. Like, you know, we got the dark, you know, real dark to the damn near white. Yeah. Like, we the only one that can do that. Y'all y'all just got vanilla. <laughs> and y'all might y'all might do a little something when y'all have Irish. You know right. what I'm saying? Y'all got a little bit of Irish. Like with that red head and the freckles, which I think is cute, you know, with some of the women, you know. But, man, black is just where it's at to me. It yeah. is, man. I love my blackness, man. I, I, man, listen. It's the best thing going right now. Show sure up. So. Black by popular demand, bitches. <laughs> black by popular demand. But see, that was, you know, and I don't mean to even get off the subject and get sidetracked, but that was one of the tactics they did, that they did back in slavery times you know what i mean they knew that we had real value but they tried to 
teach us mentally that no, you're not, you don't have value. You're less than a man. You're three. You're you're three. Three fifths of, fifths of a person. Three fifths compromise. You know Eighteen fifty. I mean? You're not even a whole person. But deep down, the people who were doing that, the only reason they were doing it is because they knew we had more value than they had. Oh, oh. you know what I mean? That we knew we had. We know we. We got plenty of value. Trust me on that, because if we didn't have no value, they wouldn't have been trying to rape our women. They wouldn't have been, you know what I mean? They, you can't demean somebody and say, you're not even real, and you're half a person, or you're three-fourths of a person, and but then turn around and say, oh, but you're women. That's another thing. I, I'm going to need a piece of that. So, you know, I don't, I don't, that's, that's how you know they really knew the value of, of black people because we were good enough to lay up with. If we didn't have any value, right. Ike wouldn't fuck with us. Right, exactly. So, come on now. But anyway, man, we're gonna, we gonna get off of that. I don't mean to get sidetracked. I'm just real. Nah, man. I get passionate about stuff like nah, that. It is man. what it is, man. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, it is what it is. Dude, you know, man. we gotta talk about it. We can't be afraid to talk about stuff like that. So. Is what it is, man. So what's up with the uh, rap city you talking about? It might come back. Yeah, so you know, there's a rumor going around that rap city might be making a comeback with BET. We hoping so. You know, it would be nice, but BET, if you're going to do it, do it right. You know what I mean? Get somebody like Big Tigger who really loves the culture. If Big Tigger's not available, get somebody who's good for the culture. Don't just you know, get any old random person, you know what I mean? Because nowadays, they be picking a lot of corny people to host yeah. these shows, because like, like the Method Man show, the, um, the battle show, Yeah. I like the fact that he's on it, but his little co-host, she kind of whack, man. It's like, why did they even get her? She don't even look like she deals with hip-hop that much, but now, you know, they just kind of threw her in, like, yeah, we want to, you know, balance it out. Balance it out. Yeah, balance it out like a hat. But see, that's the thing, man. Like, that's like what's Rude Jude on um, All Out Show, which yeah. is a good show on Shade 45. But they got a producer in there named John. He don't know shit about hip hop. Yeah. But they got him in there. Right. So, so it's like, to me, it's like, nah, man, you you doing the culture. You, you, you part like a hip hop station. You right. kind of got to know. That's like me going, like, if I wanted to go to, like, Rock 92. I need to at least show some interest or know exactly. something about rock music, which is our shit anyway. But, you know, I should, you know, I need to know about that. You know, I need to know who Led Zeppelin is or, Brock, you know, Black Sabbath, Ozzy Osbourne, the Beatles. Like, I have to know a little something about that. You know, I just can't just come up in there, you know. I mean, but see, that's the thing, man. That's how hip hop is. It's just like, right now, you got, you know what I'm saying? You got all these people and stuff in here rapping and everything, but the people that's over them, they don't know shit or give a shit about the culture. Right. They just in here like, oh, we're going to make some more money. And, you know, that's, that's about it. Hey, can we just pause for a minute and just give it up for this one of the dopest beats in hip hop? Oh, yeah. oh my God. Mm. I mean, you just, you can't hear that beat and not just nod your head a little bit. You know what I mean? That bass line, that, that, man, listen. Y'all make your face hurt. Man. Right. And you can just hear the rhymes over it, man. Corrupt, just killed that. I mean, it was just, man, you don't, you don't get too much of that nowadays, man. Oh, you don't nah. Get, you don't get beats like that no more. Yeah. Everybody got the same brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Everybody and their grandma was trying to get their money in 2000. Yeah. But Dre's like, you know what? Fuck it. 2001. You know what I'm saying? Like, that whole, that whole joint was, uh, you know, different as far as... Everybody's like, oh, you know, this album 2000, this album 2000, you did 2001. I think he's the only one that did 2001. Yeah. Yeah. And that was a 99, though. But that, yeah, that was, I, I really think that was smart on his movie. Yeah, that man. Dre was always ahead of his time, man, with these beats, man. It's like, how do you even think to come up with some shit? Dre or Primo, though? Yeah. It's Dre like, or Primo? It's, it's, for me, Primo. Just because... Dre had such hard hitting beats, but Primo did those beats that I would like to rap to. So like I, I'm I'm more I'm from New York, so I got more of a New York style of rapping. So Primo's beats always put me in that New York state of mind. So he gets a slight edge just because of that. Dre, I could rap over his beats, but um, I liked a little more up tempo stuff that that Primo did. You know what I mean? It was just a little more New York style. So that's that's why I liked it a little bit more. That's all. Oh, other than that, they dead even. You know what I mean? Explosive. They did something like cup what the last year or something. I think they, they did. Yeah, I think they had they had an album last year. Okay, okay. Oh no 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 no. It was I think it was the Compton soundtrack. I think. Oh okay. That him I think him and. Dre did something together. Yeah. Like, it was probably, like, you know, for the culture. Yeah, man. Shout out to Dre. Shout out to Pri- and Primo, man. Yeah, really. man. Y'all keep doing... Man, y'all, you know, y'all keep doing your thing, and, you know what I'm saying, it's, it is a good thing, man. Hip-hop is... Yeah. You know, like, it's over, Hip-hop like, wouldn't be nothing without them. Nah. It really wouldn't, because... I mean, Prem brought all the street stuff, and then, like... I mean, Dre did, too, but... He kind of made it a little bit more commercial as far as, you know, bringing the chorus in, doing like choruses and right. building. Because and, yeah. until like Dre and Snoop came along, you know, there wasn't really any chorus and rap. Like Primo, he would, you know, especially all other uh, MCs, like they would um, do their, they'll spit their choruses. Like they would right. scratch their choruses, rather. Right? Like they'd like, you know, be like, we on the mic. Right. Like, oh, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. now, you know, but. Like Dre and Snoop, they would be like, yeah, yeah, and they tell them to stop, you know, for right. course, yeah. So, you know, and back to the whole Rap City thing, man, I really hope that they do make it happen, but like I said, if they make it happen, they gotta do it right. You know what I mean? You got to do it right. Now, let me ask you this. If for any reason they can't get, like, a big ticket to host, who would you want? Who, who do you think would be a good host for Rap City? If Honestly, I was right? thinking Primo. Primo? Yeah, okay. I was thinking Premier. Or they could get, um, I mean, as far as somebody young, I could see Nick Cannon doing it. Yeah. I mean, you know what I'm saying? He's not young, young, but he's not, you know, he's not old neither. Yeah. So I could see Nick Cannon doing it. Um, yeah, he, he, he would be good. You know, he'd bring a little comedy to it, you know, keep you laughing and all that. And, um, you know, if they bring it back, they got to have the Freestyle Friday. You know, get people in the actual booth and, and let them kick something. You know what I mean? So that that's the thing I'm hoping. Like if they bring it back, they gotta do that because that was like my favorite part of the show. And I know that's the same for a lot of people who love the culture. You know, you you just waited for Friday, like, yeah, I wonder who's gonna be on the mic this yep, Friday. Yep, you know what yep. I mean? And you had some of the greats on there, you know, Ludacris, uh, you know, T.I. did it, you know, that's back when they was battling each other, you know what I mean? They was going at each other in the booth on the freestyle Friday. Damn. And um you know, a lot of people just Red Man, Method Man, they all been on there. You know, Ray Ray Kwan, yeah, Ray and all of them, man. It don't mean no problem. Yeah. Oh, you know okay, what? Okay, we back. Dominic said, Mr. C? I don't know about that. He, he ain't never, I don't know if he could be that good. Um, I think Funk Flex could do it. Yeah, yeah I can see do Flex it. doing it. Um, Mr. C could probably do it, but I don't think he would be as, as good as the other ones. Um... But um, I don't know, man, but it has to be somebody who knows about the culture and who's really into lyricism and, you know, not just, you know, any old person. Like, you know, I wouldn't want somebody like um, one of the Migos to ho- host it. You know what I mean? They wouldn't really bring the, the real hip-hop spirit to the show. You know what I mean? you got to have somebody who's into lyricism, you know, so it could be somebody like a... 
Grandmaster Flash or somebody like that who who really not making music anymore, but they still got that culture in them. You know what I mean? And they, Kid Capri, right? Kid Capri, Thank somebody you. like that. Kid yeah. Capri would probably be the gr- the best one to do. Yeah, because Kid Honestly. Capri had a golden voice too. Yeah, he's got that voice. It's a Kid Capri, right? Yeah, so, so that see. would be I dope, man. Yeah, I, I, I really see. hope so. So you know, if they bring it back. That's going to be dope, you know what I mean? But we're going to see. But it's, you know, it's something that's a rumor floating around out there saying that they might do it. And like I said, if they don't do it right, I'm not watching. I'm not watching. I'll check out an episode or two. But by the second episode, if it ain't right, I ain't watching no more. I'll tell you that right now. Uh, Jermaine said, bust a bus. And he could do it. But see, bus is still out here making music. So he probably wouldn't want to. I don't think yeah, he would want to do it. Up like yeah, that. he wouldn't want to do it. He would be good. He'd be a good host. Um, you can get somebody like one of the freestyle battlers, like Murder Mook, one of them. They could do it um, because they don't really make music on a regular basis. You know what I mean? All they do is like the battle scenes. You know what I mean? So somebody yeah, one like of the battle. Ca- yeah, I can see like one of the battle rappers doing that. Yeah, somebody who's into that, um, or or just bring them in just for the freestyle Friday to host that episode. You know, have somebody else host during the week. Well, whatever, man. I don't know. But um, anyway, man, um, I'm keeping my fingers crossed on that one. So, yeah, yeah. What else we got to talk so, about, man? Man, talking about Quavo this and Nicki Minaj. <laughs> yeah, that's funny, man. I don't know if y'all heard it, but. And she skeet, he skeeted <laughs> in the face. Exactly. So your boy from the Migos, uh, Qu- Quavo, has um, dissed Nicki Minaj. He dissed her on a couple of different occasions. So the first time we heard about him dissing her, he was doing one of his live performances, and he did like a little scenario where it was a chick opening a gift, and it was making fun of Nicki Minaj, because um, if you don't know, and I didn't know either, him and her used to date. I guess it didn't work out And um He was one that used to like to buy her gifts And stuff like that So if you go on Nikki's Instagram The video that he was making fun of is still up there So basically he sent her a gift And she goes on camera live To open it And she's sitting on the floor And it's uh, she opens the box And it's one of these like expensive handbags And she's all going crazy So at one of his live shows, he got a girl to pretend to be her, like, on Instagram and opening the gift, and he was making fun of her for that, and then, um, he released a song called Huncho Dreams, and so, it's basically going at her, because she made a song called Barbie Dreams, which was a kind of a remake of the Notorious B.I.G. song, Dreams, where she's kind of making a mockery out of other musical celebrities and things like that, male celebrities that she wants to sleep with, or she has or would, you know what I mean? So that was her version of that. But in the song, he kind of she she kind of calls him out because he's in a relationship with somebody else. I think it's somebody I can't remember who. One of them like Ariana Grande types. Yeah. And so she was like, you know, or, or no, I think it's Christina Milian or somebody like that. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Nikki was just like, you know, tell her I don't want her man and, you know, blah, blah, blah. You know, she kind of threw a little slick comment about him in there, I guess, because they used to be together. So he didn't like that. So he made the, he, he did that live thing and then he made the song called Hunt Your Dreams and he disses her on the song. The whole song is actually about her. He, he kind of um, disses her and makes fun of the Fifi song with her and 6 9 He talks about um, them having sex and him skeeting in her face. <laughs> skeet, I was skeet. like, whoa. So it, the song is whack. I'm going to tell you that right now. The song is whack. But if you want to if you want to laugh, you know, just, you know, go listen to the song. It's called Huncho, Huncho Dreams. And it's his attempt to go at her. I don't even know if she's going to respond or not. I'm sure she's going to say something. But... It ain't worth a, a rap battle per se, you know what I mean? Nah, it's definitely not gonna yeah, be. Yeah, but it's just, it's just funny. It's just comedy and it's it's hip hop still. So, but yeah, so I, that was the whole thing, man. You know, just him saying that he skeeted in her face had me dying. I was just like, whoa. But the thing of it is, man. I mean, Nikki, man, she needs to be kind of because you know that's the thing. She keeps on dissing. And um, yeah, everybody's yeah, waking up to Nikki. Yeah, like man. she keeps on dissing and stuff, man. Somebody's gonna, you know, take her ass down. Exactly. It'd be kind of cool if Cardi Cardi does it. Um, yeah. 
But yeah, they all if they all team up, you know, especially like with you know the women she had beef with, yeah. Remy, Cardi, and right. uh, he act, didn't Little Kim, Little Kim didn't like her because she pretty much took that whole yeah. shit. She copied Little Kim's style, but pretty much, see, you know, look, Kim, Kim took the approach of if you go and use some of my stuff, use it. I'm not even that mad about it, but at least give me some credit. And she wasn't really giving Kim enough credit. She was acting like everything she was doing was just original. And we all know it wasn't. You know what I mean? She was taking pictures like Little Kim. Dude. She was dressing like Little Kim with the hairstyles and everything. Dude. Clothes. All the stuff that Little Kim was doing. And, you know, she just wouldn't really acknowledge that. So I would have been mad, too. It's like, don't, don't be that blatant about using my style. And then not even acknowledge that, you know what I mean? You got it from me. Now, you know, she she did, you know, give Kim some shout outs early in her career. But she was always saying some backhanded stuff like, yeah, Kim is the queen, but I'm coming for the throne. I'm going to take her out. You know what I mean? You can't do those backhanded compliments. You can't just say, I'm giving you respect, but I'm about Damn. to take you out. I'm about to shit on you. And she was doing stuff like that, so... Everybody thought Lil' Kim was crazy for going at her. Then Remy, you know what I mean, went at her. You know, um, you know. now she's, you know, got Cardi B going after her. Yeah, all three of them need to just look. Right. We gonna look up. Right. We gonna put the hurt on this bitch. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's what they need to do. They need to go in the studio and just do an album. That would be dope. Yeah. That actually would be dope. Yeah, it would be, man. You know, I think they could really pull off something. And it ain't got to be a whole less all this Nicki Minaj. Oh, album, yeah. But, they could do something know, else together, just, too. Just to show, you know, we the only ones who can be united. You're not really trying to do nothing with other females. She thinks she knows what's out there. world, anybody, well, well, I, I, I ain't going to say that anybody else is period, but right. yeah, at the same time. But, yeah, you're right, though. Like, yeah. You kind of got to, you know, especially in a male-dominant, um, you know, Genre, yeah, you know, you would, you would, you would really think that you would try to be more um, unifying. You, yeah, yeah trying to, trying to. But I mean, together. at the same time, though, sometimes women can't be in the same room, especially like one with that has like an attitude or like some, yeah. like a persona as me. Yeah. So I mean, I can kind of understand that. That's why her. If you, I don't know if you ever watched it, but she was on American Idol as a judge for a year. And her and Mariah Carey was up there, and they always got into it a lot, too. Because, you know, they both have this diva attitude of, you know, that petty, I'm, I'm up here on the pedestal, you know, so the rest of you are my, my lackeys or whatever. And so, you know, you had two people who were divas clashing. So it's just like, that didn't work out. Then neither one of them came back after that. So it was like... Damn. It, it made, you know, and I was really kind of happy when they first announced that they were going to have Nikki on there and Mariah. I was like, okay, so we got some people I'm familiar with. But then when they got up there and it was always catty about it, it was just like, this is whack, man. Y'all ain't really contributing to the show. Y'all just arguing and bickering all the time. So, you know, Nikki Minaj brings that with her wherever she goes, man. If you ever seen her little, um, she had a reality show that happened one time and it didn't last very long but she was like that on there you know she just kind of you know she had an air about her you know what I mean like she was just up here floating you know what I mean yeah so I don't know man I don't care for that man but anyway yeah oh and then maybe too you know the Migos probably get in there and make a little track too you know that's that's I mean that's probably gonna happen but again like I said it ain't you know, at the same time, it ain't gonna be like worthy as far as like, um, like like the uh, Drake and the Pushers and the right. like the M and the um, MGK. It's not gonna be up there like that. Yeah, I think it's gonna, like you said, it's just gonna be something you can sit back and just kind of like ha ha. Right. You know, because that's one thing I will give Nikki. I she got she do got a little bit of bars. Yeah, she like, got bars. Yeah, she got um, a little bit of bars. She, she just doesn't. She doesn't use her bars as much toward the culture. She's trying to more so make money. You know what I mean? Oh, She's sure. more so like, I'm just trying to get as rich as possible, you know, and I'm going to just do whatever makes people happy enough to buy my music. And so, you know, I think that's where she goes wrong. And it's like, if she would, you know what would be good about her? If she was a little more like, a, kind of like LL. LL knew how to balance it out. He would say, okay, I'm going to make a couple of songs for the ladies. I'll make a couple of songs for the streets, 
you know, make a couple songs for this and that. You know what I mean? A couple of flashy songs. And, you know, he knew how to balance it out a little bit. Nicki don't really do that. She's just like, I want to be pop. I want hip hop to be pop. So I'm just going to do whatever the pop culture likes. And I'm going to use these little voices that I do that are cutesy. And these little mannerisms that show pettiness and how I'm the queen and this and that. And it's like, yeah, and I'm, I'm glad you're making your money, but you're not really doing anything for the culture. You know what I mean? Not really. So that's the thing I don't really care for. That's why I never really buy her music, because it's just like, you're not really doing it. The only time I've ever been vested in any time, anything that she said was when she was battling somebody like Little Kim. You know, I, I wanted to hear uh, her response to Little Kim. I wanted to hear her response to Remy Ma. But when it comes to her albums... I'm, I'm out. I'll tap out. Sorry, I don't, I don't want it. That's, a, that's something we kind of talk about, too, because, like, um, that's something, like, I was listening to, like, the uh, Godcast. You know, yeah, you know, yeah. Godcast, they were talking about, like, no one really knows how to make an album anymore. Right. There's no art to an album. Yeah. Everybody just put these songs together and just throw them out there. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, we... I mean, it's pretty much like everything is like a fucking mixtape now. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Which, nothing wrong with a mixtape, but as far as like, there's, there's not really a lot of conceptual shit. I mean, now, I, I'll give down to, um, like, Dave East and, and Styles, you know, that yeah. beloved shit. You know, David, the beloved shit. That's actually a cool concept. Yeah. Um, the Freddie and Jason, yeah. like they did last year, yeah. was like, that was, that, was a, that was a good concept. Mm -hmm. You know, but as far as like, like as a, as a whole, it's not really been like a whole lot of conceptual. Yeah, stuff. and see, like, but it, and look at look at the, the two albums you just referenced, like Styles P and Dave East. You know, they, they named the album Beloved because both of their names, their government names are David. And David is translated into beloved in like Hebrew. Yeah, beloved. So it's like one of those, it's creative. Freddie versus Jason. Both of their names. He's Freddie, he's Jason. You know what I mean? Jada Kiss's real name is Jason. Uh, Fabulous' real name is Freddie. It's like creativeness, like that. You know what I mean? You don't see that a lot with, with these younger artists, man. You know what I mean? What? It's like. What are y'all doing? Everything is like, you know, I mean, I'm not knocking them. Yeah. In a sense, because like, I mean, I, I get it. Like, you know, people don't really have, people don't really take time or have time thanks to these fucking things. Right. They don't have, they don't take time to really sit down and listen to an album. You know, so like, you know, they're not going to, because like back in the day, man, like we got stuff like, especially on cassette. Right. You know, you had to kind of like, there wasn't no skipping or we you know what I'm saying? Most of the time you had to make an album that was good and people could listen to at least back to you know front to back. Yeah. You know. And I, I think it was just I mean, I think it was, you know, that's kinda of what's missing now. Everybody's so we got so much music. I yeah. mean, there was a lot of music from back in the day. Yeah. But it's just so much music now because, you know, you got the, you know, you got all this stuff here. Like, I could make an album on here like now. Right. I mean, yeah. I, I mean, you know, well, I mean, ain't that great, but still, like, I could make a, you know, I and album. Yeah. And then, you know, I could send it to YouTube and it'll be like, you know, I, I wouldn't even have to make but about a couple of tracks. And all I would have to be like, poop, scoop, doop. Right. Exactly. Poop, scoop, doop. Yeah. Poop, scoop, doop. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, da -da -da. yeah, yeah, that's you know, all I got to do. All you got to do is just do something simple. And everybody's like, oh, oh, oh poop, scoop, doop. Right. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's, just, it's, it's not enough creativity going around, man. I don't know, man. And, it's, and I really, you know, that's why I be trying to wake these kids up. You know what I mean? You got to bring your creativity out. And I'm glad we got like your Jermaine Coles and you know what I mean? Your, your, your Kendricks and those younger guys who are saying, you know, even though I'm part of the newer culture, I'm still trying to show you that it doesn't have to be all that simplistic. You know what I mean? Damn, like, damn is actually, speaking of, you know, Kendrick, though, damn is like really conceptual. Yeah. You know, as far as like, you know, listen to front the, uh, front the back. Yeah. And actually how he tied like that first scene like if you listen to it, the, the first intro and towards the last, um, 
Well, I think there's a couple other songs after that last one, which I never, I never did understand that. Yeah. But pretty much, it all tied, it all got tied together. Yeah. You know. Yeah, and that's that's what I like, man. An album that really, you know, it's like one long story tied together. You know what I mean? So stuff like that, you know, lets you know there was some thought put into that. You know what I mean? So. You know, it's only it's only a few rappers who can do that. You know what I mean? So I I, I love it, man. I'm always going. You know, and it's not about a certain um, region. You know, I don't only love East Coast hip hop. I don't only love West Coast. Or I love all hip hop. If you're just doing good hip hop, you know what I mean? Because some of the best lyricists come from the West Coast. Some of them come from the, the South, and some of them come from New York. You know what I mean? Some of them from the Midwest. Midwest I mean, you got your Eminem's, you know what I mean, your Tech Nine. Um, come on, man. It's like, we, you know, good lyricists can come from anywhere, but it's Andre like. 3000. Great stacks. Come on, man. You can't. And actually, fuck. Big Boy, too. Yeah, man. Big Boy, too. They be sleeping on him, man. Because three oh, stacks, shit. man, got a slight edge on him, but Big Boy is a close second when it comes to that group. And, um, good, uh, not Goody Mom, Field Mom. Yo. The dude, man, them two dudes was rapping their ass off, man. Goody Mob was the shit, Goody too, Goody Mob was the shit, too. Shit. Goody Mob was like Atlanta's version of the Ghetto Boys, you know what I mean? Good. Yeah, good. they, they, they kind of always knew how to tell a story and, you know, get you get you raised up on your consciousness. Um, but, yeah, as far as lyricism, you know, Feel Mob was my joint, you know what I mean? Them dudes could rap their ass off. Um... But yeah, so, you know, it's just one of those things, man. It's one of those things. But um, yeah, what, what else we got to talk about today? Oh, uh, man, since we were talking about, like, you know, shows on Netflix, uh, uh, yeah. cancellation of uh, Luke Cage and Iron Fist. Yeah. Which, man. honestly, Iron Fist, I can kind of see. Mm. Um, when I seen the first season, I liked it, but I think it was. It was lackluster. Because, like, the Derek man, Derek Bell, that first season was, boy, that, that shit fuck. Yeah, and I still got, I, I never went back and saw Dead that way. Oh, go man, Dead that was fire, boy. Okay, okay. Dead fire, and Luke Cage fire, yeah. you know, that first season. Yeah, man. that's what made it sad for me to see Luke Cage get canceled because it contributed to hip hop. You know what I mean? It, yeah. It, it had this hip hop spirit about it, so it I did, loved it, man. And I, I, I really think, like as far as like representation goes, I think black people really should be more behind Luke Cage than like the say the Black Panther. Yeah, you know, because to me, my man Luke Cage, you know, he's like, I ain't in no mask. Matter of fact, I'm in like a yellow ass team, right, I'm just a bald head, dude. big dude, right, skin don't break. Come at me, come at me. Right. I got you. Yep. Yeah, okay. So you so, know that would you know it would be dope to have like you know Luke Cage, this guy who plays him, and, and like Iron Man, and all of them just show up in one of the Marvel movies. You know what I mean? Avengers or something like that. Anything where they can just cross that over to make people appreciate their characters a little bit more. The Daredevil, um, all of them, man. You know they could bring them to the big screen and it would be good. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, especially my. I mean. Yeah, Luke Cage would be good. My man, um, yeah, my man, uh, I forgot his name, his actual name, but the guy that plays that, he, he, he plays that very well. Okay. okay. God, yeah, I don't know his real name either. But. I think it was like, uh, it's Charlie something, or it starts with a C, I can't remember. But yeah, he's, he's good. Okay. He's definitely better than fucking, uh, uh Matt Damon. Yeah. Played there, though. Yeah. Uh, no, Ben Affleck. Played yeah, Ben, ben yeah, Ben, ben Affleck. Affleck. Yeah, because then he played Batman, Batman too. Yeah, yeah, he's doing a little well, bit better. Well, she was all right. Batman. He was an all right Batman, to be yeah. honest with you. I give him that. Yeah, he's doing a better job as Batman than he did at Daredevil. He's not like the best Batman, but he's doing a decent job at it, um, you know, he was in Suicide Squad as Batman. Yeah. He did the Batman versus Superman. Then they did the Justice League with him. So, you know, he's doing a decent enough job, but um Daredevil, yeah, he 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 destroyed that. I almost wouldn't even I think that's one of the reasons I never watched the show. Cause I was like, I hope they don't fuck it up like like Affleck did. Nah, my man uh, my man represent that shit. Yeah. Cause he did cause like if you look at the show like not to do it with the suit. Mm. 
until towards like the end. Towards the end. So okay. like in the beginning, he just got. I mean, he's cool. Like he got this mask. Mm. Like he blind anyway. He got this mask over his nose. Yeah. Then everything like a black mask. and He's in a black suit. Like just fucking motherfuckers up. That's good. Cause yeah. that, that kind of keeps it more realistic. You know what I mean? Not just some guy going into a suit immediately. I need to see. Uh, Works his way into it. The Punisher too. Though, yeah, right? that's another one, man. I need to see that too. Cause like in the cause see in the second season he comes. And Daredevil, mm. yo, my man was, my man was not, man, my man was cleaning up shit. Mm. My man was up yeah, shit. so you know, but we hope, hopefully Netflix will, you know, you know, work that out some kind of way. But I heard that they trying to take though some of the Netflix shows and move them over to Disney. I don't know if y'all know, but Disney has the rights to a lot of Marvel stuff. Oh, yeah, 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 I've heard about yeah. that. So I think that some of them are getting canceled because they're trying to move it to a new version on with Disney or something like that, where Disney gets more of the rights to it. So that could be part of it too. We never know, you know. Damn, they gonna clean, can't cuss no more. Right. Man. They're gonna be like, man, you better watch it. <laughs> watch Jive it. Before I kick you. I kick your butt. You jive turkey. Jive. <laughs> you know, don't make me kick your butt. <laughs> you know, yeah, I was like, dude, come on, man. You know. Uh, it's, uh, yeah. Um, they were talking about uh, Cassidy would be a good host for the uh, Freestyle Fridays in, in Rap City. He would be good for that. Man. He would be good for that. Yeah. He would be good for yeah. That. Oh, speaking of which, um, you heard about what Pat Poose did? Uh-uh. He was speaking. Thank you. I think I saw this. It was on an Instagram uh well, actually, like a video on Facebook or Instagram, but he was talking about like basically uh, when Remy Ma got locked up, he went to visit her, you know, you know, regularly. Yeah. I wouldn't say every day, but regularly yeah, on a regular basis. But so. what he was saying, like you know, y'all come up here, he said guys come up here talking about, you know, bitches ain't shit. Said when it comes to the females, there was no one in the room visiting. I was the only one visiting. Mm. When it comes to the dudes locked up, here come the ladies up there visiting. So it was like, man, that was just real. Because I never really thought, yeah, I mean, I ain't never really been, that. yeah, because I ain't never been fortunate enough to, you know, well, not fortunate. Mm. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I've never been in, like, real trouble, thank God. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't, you know, I mean, as much as, as crazy as these, you know, you know, these trigger happy police, you know, as for nowadays. I, I'm thankful. I thank God that they ain't really been in no trouble. Like, I try to keep, you know, keep my nose clean and stuff. But yeah, that's a lot to think about, man. Like, yeah. Do what we gotta do, brother, man. If, if, hey, if, if, old, if, old, if old girl locked up, you gotta, hey. Yeah, you gotta, I mean, that, you never, well, like you said, you never really think about it, but yeah, when it's the other way around, the ladies are always visiting the guys. Yeah. But when it's a female locked up, you never really hear much about her getting her visitation from the guys, you know what I mean? Yeah. So. Start, still, start doing them conjugal visits. Yeah, man. And then, you know, when she get out, because I know she's gonna be like with somebody. In the jail, y'all, can, you can fix up the house for her mm-hmm. and the girl that she gonna bring home. Exactly. So, <laughs> exactly. She's coming home with somebody. She's coming home with somebody. <laughs> but, um, oh, what's up? Yeah, so it's, it's one of them things, man. You know, I'm glad he, he Papoose did that because he needed to shed light on stuff. Shout like out that. to Papoose. Yeah, man. big shout out to Papoose. Papoose, I'm telling y'all, you and Lemmy need to make a little hip hop marriage album. Yeah, that was I'm telling you. Man. And you know they got a house here in Raleigh. So, um, yeah, if we, we need to get them on the podcast. Man. And then on top of that, we're going to come up too. Yeah. And y'all, y'all just need to make us like a little meal and stuff. Right. Matter of fact, we're going to be there Thanksgiving. Right. We're gonna, <laughs> we just going gonna, gonna to pop the fuck up. Right, exactly. Yeah, we better not do that. We probably get shot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, man. But I like them as a couple, man. Yeah, they, yeah. They, they, they make a good couple, and you can tell there's a strong love between them and a big strong bond between them so you know that's a couple that if they broke up I'd actually be heard up to see that you know what I mean because they've been through thick and thin with each other so definitely I'm excited when a dude come to visit you right right in jail so that's what's you know, up man. you know you just put money on the books you know what I mean yeah keeping them things uh keeping them books uh stacked so you know 
he he treats her like a, a real queen. I can tell that much. But um, but yeah, man. So you know, it's it's sad to see that some shows like that, like Luke Cage and Iron Fist, are getting taken out by Netflix. But we're gonna see where they go from here because they still got some good shows, like you said, Daredevil and. Jessica Jones and all of that, Punisher and all that. So. Yeah, Jessica Jones, they got they got a season two, didn't they? I believe so. I think yeah. they did. I ain't I ain't watched that. See that that show right there, that uh it took me a little while to get into it. It built up kind of slow, right? But like once it got built up, which is kind of cool. I respect it now, but yeah, once it got built up, like I was like, okay, this makes sense. Right. Exactly. So it's one of them things, man. It's one of them things. So uh, we gonna see where that goes, man. But um, Dominic, you were mentioning earlier that you saw that movie, um, The Hate You Give. You know, if you want to give us some information about that, you know, share it because he said it was a good movie. You know, said it, um, it made him reminisce about people like Pac and stuff like that. You know, people who speak up against uh, wrongdoing and stuff like that. So yeah. uh, he said it was good. So we might have to check that out. You know, um, yeah, I, yeah, because I did, yeah, because they, you know, that's the acronym, you yeah. know, thug, you know, all yeah. thug life, so. so, um, he, he said he went and saw, I think it was yesterday or something like that, and, uh, that it was a good movie, so, um, I might have to check that out. It's a lot of movies I want to see right now. Halloween. Oh, yeah, you know. my, my girl, like, her kid, like, she took her, uh, niece to see, like, her and, uh, and her brother, they yeah. went to see it, yeah. So that just came out, I think, last week. So I want to see that, man. Yeah, y'all, good. I'm good on that. I mean, <laughs> look, I'm... Howie I'm, said he ain't fucking with Howie. Nah, I don't fuck with that shit, motherfucking demons. And hey, I love it, man. Yeah, they come up there with their head missing. Talk about, like, I'm going to get you. Oh, Yo, that well, that's dope, man. I love that. Like, Halloween, Friday the 13th, Exorcist, all of that. I love it, man. Yeah, man. I'm, I love it. I grew up on them scary movies, man. Grown ass man still sleep with the nightlight. <laughs> yeah, you heard it here first. I ain't know? fucking with it. Hey, I love it, man. I, I think it's just because I got so used to it as a kid, it really didn't have a chance to have shock value. Because you know, when you're introduced to something at a young age, you get used to it. It's not like a big thing where you wait. And so you get older, and somebody said, yeah, let's go see a scary movie. And all of a sudden, you're like, whoa, I didn't know it was like this. Yeah. So when you get used to it, it's like, no big deal. So I, I, need you to know. Be, I guess I need to be tied down. And like, <laughs> and yeah, like, yeah, just have my eyes open. Yeah, 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 just be the sister side. Yeah, just be the sister side. It's like, eh. Right. Uh, but, you yeah, so, see. Yeah, but then, I, I'm going to see that joint, man. Yeah, my, my movie, I was scared of when I was a kid. You probably gonna laugh at this shit. <laughs> Which uh, one, uh, Child Play? Nah. Chucky. <laughs> fucking Tremors, man. Remember oh, Tremors? Tremors? Yeah. Yo, that, I that. wasn't scared at first. Like, I was over at my aunt's house and we mm. was watching it. And uh, what happened was they was out there, and, you know, they was out in that desert and shit. I think this was like Kevin Baker's earlier movie. Yeah. But they was out there in the desert, right? And all of a sudden, this is like a little tree, like elephant horn looking motherfucker thing, come up here and grab this basketball, mm-hmm. swallowed it whole. Like, I was cool with that at first. But then, you know, and this is the 80s. I'm a kid, man. So, like, I, you know, I don't see shit like this. Yeah. All of a sudden, that mom came out the ground. It's like big ass looking, trim ass looking thing, like the big ass trim, like the whole big thing. Like, yeah. I'm like, yo, I jumped up on the couch and I'm like, how do you turn that shit off? <laughs> I was like, oh, my aunt's couch. How do you, yo, everybody like, hollering, like, yeah, turn this off, turn this off. Yo, I was scared, yo. Yeah. Yo, I was yeah. shook. I, I think if I remember correctly, I want to say that might have been a Disney movie, though. Well, that was a Disney movie? <laughs> Man, not, now I feel real bad. I'm not 100%, but I almost feel 80% sure that was a Disney one. Damn, yo. They did a good job on it, you know what I mean? Shit. It wasn't one of my favorites. Um, um, I only saw, like, I think half of it, but um, it was it was decent from what I remember. Damn, yo. So, you, um, taking the G card. Disney movie. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta take the D card. We're gonna, we gonna check that out. We'll find out. But, um, you know who's good at making some good movies with Stephen King, man? His stuff was really good, too. He had some good ones. You know, it was good. Uh, there was one that a lot of people don't talk about that much. It was a Stephen King movie called The Langoliers. 
and it was like these people go on a plane, but they end up in an alternate dimension or something like that, and these monsters are like just consuming the whole universe. So they just go to planets and just eat up the whole universe. Nice. And so this plane goes into that universe where it's getting destroyed, and then they're trying to you know make their way back through the black hole to take them back to the to the real world. So it's dope, man. It's really good. Um, it's almost like these little Pac-Man creatures, you know what I mean? Just they just go around eating up everything. Exactly. <laughs> so you know, it was pretty good. Um, it's called the Langoliers. But yeah, um, but yeah, man, that's pretty much it for our show. I think this week, right? Oh, let's talk about Fifty real quick. Oh man, I forgot about that. Yeah, he clowning John Rule, man. Why? I, I, is he doing that though? Like this has been since 2000. But you know what? I think I know why it is. Remember, if you're not, if you don't remember, about a month ago, Ja Rule made some slick comments about um, Eminem and MGK when they were battling. Ja Rule went on Instagram or Twitter or something, and he was like, "Yeah, that's cool, they little beef." But the record, the, he said, the the worst diss record that went the hardest was my song where I dissed. You know, all of them, like 50 and, and M and all of them. So I think because of that, 50 did that. You know what oh, I mean? Because John Rue was yeah. talking reckless. He was like, yeah, 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 a little beef is cute, but the most um, hardest record ever was my um, song. He named the name of the song. I can't remember what it was called, but. There was one, there was a couple. I, I had to give it to John Rue. There was a couple records that he did. Yeah. I think he. Um, that was the one thing he did was like, oh shit, get ugly. Da, 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 da. We got enough shit down. And he was like, and I knew he was, it was like some slick shit towards like, I'm gonna murder motherfuckers and shine my name, loose change. Like, you yeah, know that's like 50 cents. Exactly. Yeah, you know, like, yeah. So, but now he can't, man, come on up. Right. But y'all couldn't mess with like, not even just 50, because 50, but man, they had Lloyd on that team. Yep. Lloyd, <laughs> Lloyd by himself, cuz yeah, she. Yeah, <laughs> so basically, if y'all don't know, Fifty went and bought like two hundred seats to one of Jaru's <laughs> concerts, like all the front row seats, yeah. just so he could leave them empty, so that uh, John ja, ja could see them empty seats at his show. I don't know how much the show sold, but you know, and you know what, crazy though. He got him at a discount right that nigga put it on Groupon! Yo, that nigga put it on Groupon, son! <laughs> like, he didn't, even, he didn't even went straight out. No. My man put the shit on Groupon, no. cuz. Savage. <laughs> savage. Yeah. Yo, like, he got like, yo, like, 50, like, yeah, ain't gonna give him all this. All right. Yeah, let me get some discount on the seat. Yeah, that's a shame, you know. He went on and ja Rule can, I know Ja Rule gonna try to brag probably, oh yeah, well I made money because you bought them seats, but still, bro, he clowned you by buying them seats. So did you know, And then they were talking about, I don't know if you heard about it, but um, Ashanti had a recent concert and uh, it only sold like 20 to 25 tickets. Oh yeah, I heard I about like, that. Well, see, oh yeah, I heard about that. Um, Yeah, I didn't think that was right because like, the, the people that was uh, promoting and everything, they didn't they didn't do her right. Man. Oh, okay. Like I, I, I mean, the whole story. I just yeah, because like I mean, they should have made it. Gave, they should have made it. Gave her like a little small venue or like a small club, yeah. so they could pack it out. Yeah. But they um, but yeah, man, like the college kid, because it was a, a college. Was it? Yeah, it was at a college. And the thing of it was, it was like really you can't college kid, you know. Her stuff is good, but that was like 15 some years ago. Yeah. These kids now, they're not listening to Ashanti, right? right? They don't really know it. They don't really know her like that. They, they're they listening to fucking um, Drake, Migos. Yeah. Um, All the little kid groups now. Yeah, that's what well. they're, and that's what they're listening to. That's what the young ones are listening to. So, I mean, I mean, it is what it is. Yeah, they kind of messed that up. They shouldn't have done that. I mean, maybe if they did like a, you know, stat, like, you know, all staff. Or something like that. They'd have been like, but then see, staff probably don't even know who right. Shantae yeah. is. Man. It's like because I mean, you got so many young people. She, I think, if she had kept herself relevant, like kept making music on a more consistent basis, she would have been fine. 
but she didn't really do anything consistent. She had some songs, and then she went away for like seven years, and it was just like, okay, where the hell you been? You know, make some music so people will remember you. Nobody remembers you because of that. Only people who are in my age group are going to remember you because we're, we're just old enough to remember. But um, the younger kids are going to look at you like, who are you? Yeah. You know what I mean? Who are you? Yeah. Why it's should just, we care? Yeah, it's just, it's unfortunate, bro. I mean, it's, you know, and then two, it's just kind of tough, man, because like the young kids now, like, you know, the rappers, though, buddy. That's the thing, though. If you can sing and... But like, and that's the thing. You have to be able to be consistent. If you're consistent, you'll be able to sing forever. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, like that, that's the thing. You have to really be consistent with it. Yep. And we don't have enough of that, man. You know. So that's that's one thing that you know helps people. Like, no matter how much you you can love or hate Jay Z, the man is consistent. He brings yep. out music every, every now and then just to say, hey, you gonna still remember my name? It's Hovey, you know, baby. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> so, you know, it is what it is. They was, Somebody was saying on um, YouTube, it was a guy on YouTube, he's like one of those um, reaction track type people. He was saying that he felt like MGK was trying to re-spark up the battle between him and Eminem. I don't think he was, but he was kind of... What he did was, MGK lately at his concert, he been trying to give out Rap Devil gear, like hats and t-shirts about with Rap Devil on them. Oh, yeah. So, you know. He, yeah, that's probably the only thing that's going for Yeah, right so, it's like, dude, you might want to let that go, man. You know, even even if it, it made some noise, it's over now. You know what I mean? It, it just don't, it's, it's not relevant anymore. You know, you had your little battle with him. Go back to making your music, your album flopped, yeah. you know, so I think he's trying to just do something to keep relevance, you know, by saying, well, this was something that everybody likes, so let me do a bunch of apparel with rap that one, you know, it's kind of whack, so I don't know, I mean, it's not worthy of Eminem responding or anything, so it's just mm-hmm. one of those things, you can tell he's just desperate, yeah. so... Well, yeah, that's it. Well, what else we got? We got anything else on the agenda for the day? I think, well, I want to shout out um, Sway in the Morning, man. They, they did the Freestyle Friday. I think the lady's name is Larry Born. I can't, but they, and there were two other gentlemen on there on the show, too. They all came out of Coney Island. Uh, they did good, but this lady killed that shit, boy. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Boy, she killed I just, I, when they get it posted up, yeah. they'll, uh, They'll probably have it on. They'll probably have it on like um, like Sway's universe or whatnot. Yeah. So I'll try to post it up on the page. But man, yeah, she killed that. Shit. That's what's up, man. Yeah, I like Sway, man. Cause he 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 puts out. He lets people come up there. If they claim they got skills, he'll invite you up there quick. Like, yeah, come do your thing. You know what I mean? So he's he's another one that would be good for. Um, Rap City, you know. Oh, I mean? of course. Yeah, he would be great for Rap City. Right? I mean, hell, he's already got VJ experience from uh, right. TV. Yeah, he'd be exactly. great. So, yeah, people, ch- and I think people really generally like Sway. Sway's like a one. He's a cancer. But yeah. Cancer's got to unite. You know, what I mean? <laughs> he's like a lay. He really a laid back cat, man. Like yeah. he's just really laid back. I can. Yeah. Remember that time him and Kanye got into it on the show? He ain't got the answer, Sway. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that was Yo, funny. Sway was like, man, we can cut all this camera shit off, right? right. <laughs> like, yo, we can come up here talking that shit to be Kanye. Nah, I mean, he, man. I mean, my thing of it is, man, I was like, damn, yo, Sway was really just had this legitimate, he wasn't, and you can see, like, he wasn't pestering. Yeah. He just kind of asking, like, why wouldn't you do right. that? Right. And I think Kanye just kind of got, I don't know, he just went overboard a little bit. Yeah. You know, you getting loud and you just, you know, accusations. And so you can tell Sway was trying to be cool at first, but after a while, he was like, hold up now, like, damn it now. Fuck up. <laughs> you ain't going to be just talking to me like that. Lower your motherfucking voice when you're talking to me, nigga. Yeah, sure, <laughs> yeah, Sway, Sway from the Bay, because Sway yeah. put that old Bay on his ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that old Bay. Yeah, like, you know. um, <laughs> exactly. Sway was like, yo, my yeah. name ain't Johnny Punani, nigga. I'll beat y'all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Shit. But yeah, that was funny, man. That's going to go down in the history books right there, man. 
Um, but yeah, man, you know, I, I don't even know what's next for Kanye, man. Um, hopefully. Hopefully not be the same song. Yeah, you, you know, they said not too long ago he was hitting, trying to drop hits that uh, there was going to be a Watch the Throne too. It was like two or three months ago he was kind of hitting at that. I don't, I don't know if I believe that. I don't see that happening, but I don't know, man. We'll see. Yeah, I really, w- honestly, though, I really wish him and Jay Z would like get back together and do yeah. it. So, I mean, they, man, they pretty much rule. If you really think about it, they pretty much ruled the whole like 2000, early 2010. Yeah. And, and, Cause like, man, shit, there wasn't really no fucking competition. Right. Exactly. So it's. That album and I'm cool. not even a fan of them like that. I'm just saying it should be cool when they get back together. Yeah, because it was a good album, man. That, that was actually a really good album. And, um, you know, I think they did really good together. They, they they had good energy on songs together. So it's just, I don't know, man. They're both in different places these days. So I think that's that what it is. Yeah. I think that's just what it is. I, I just think people, you know... And it's just like that in life, man. I mean, I don't think it's no... Uh, even like what Jay said, like, because uh, he came on... Uh, what's my man? Uh, that guy that used to do Late Night. He retired now. He uh, got Letterman? He, yeah, Letterman. He got a uh, Netflix special. He was like, well, on Letterman. And he's like, man, hey, I mean, he's still my little brother, but, you know, just in different spots. Yeah. So, I mean, I can respect that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I get it, you know. Like, sometimes in life... People just get on different paths, and it's it's no it's no hatred or nothing. It's like, hey, I'm I'm my path is taking me this way. You find your path, you right? Exactly. Yeah, man. So we'll see. Um, we'll see what happens with that, you know. Um, but that's that's pretty much our show for today. Yeah, man. I think that's it, man. So. Yeah, we really appreciate y'all sticking it out with us. You know, I know we uh, keep y'all for a little while, but thank y'all for sticking in there and um, keeping hip hop alive, man. Take money, get money, get money, get money. Get money. Ah, ah. That's a classic beat right That's there, That's a dope beat, man. That come you on want already, a sip more on my living room flow. Play Nintendo with CJ Malibu. Pick up my phone, say Papa not home. Sex all night, bad head in the mold. Spin my V, smoke all my weed. Tattoo on titties, say and be IG. Now check it, you want to be my main squeeze, baby. Don't you? You want to give me what I need, baby. Won't you? Pitch up life as my wife just think. Full length mix, fat X and O links. Bracelets to match, conversation was all that. Showed you the same combinations and all that. Guess you can say you the one I trusted. Who would ever think that you was spread like mustard? Shit got hot, just sent this to my spot. Took me to court, try to take all I got. Another intricate block, the bitch said I raped her. Damn. You gotta take the pay five. You know what I mean? Yo. <laughs> That's I could have kept going, but I, I, know y'all, I know y'all was feeling this. So I wanted to give y'all a chance to fill in the empty line there. Oh, man. man. That's, that's a classic right there, you know. Um, I, I still, you know, to this day, I'll be wondering, you know, what hip hop would be like if people like him and Pop were still alive and eventually they collaborated and said, you know, fuck all that. You know what I mean? Let's let's make this shit happen and bury this shit. You know what I mean? So, you know. They were love. I, I can guarantee you Jay-Z wouldn't be an owner of the uh, Brooklyn Nets. Right. <laughs> yeah. I don't About really damn near Kirsten. Right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, hip hop would be a lot different, man. You know, so. It's, it is what it is, man. But, um, yeah, man. So, we will be back next week. Yeah. Same time, same channel. We thank y'all again for showing us love, man, and, and, and just being there to support hip-hop and to support us, you know. And, and we just going to keep doing big things, man, to keep bringing y'all the hip-hop news and culture and all of that, man. So, Thank y'all again for trying Hip Hop Podcast. This is your man, Kurt Dog. And I'm Howie. We get get money. Get money. Peace. Money. Get money.